Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Mango Pay Payment Gateway Marketplace add-on. Well, this extension is an ideal end-to-end -end payment solution for your marketplace store as it enables the platform to accept multiple currencies and multiple payment methods online including credit, debit cards and direct debit. Also, this payment extension will provide split payment to all the sellers of an order and the buyers will be able to make payments using their Visa, MasterCard, Maestro and Direct Debit. The sellers and the admin can also do a full or a partial refund for the, ad for the orders uh, that have been placed. So let's get ahead and let's see what the different uh, backend configuration we have. So after the successful installation of this extension, the admin will ha would have to configure the module for use at the front end. So let's get ahead and let's see what the different configuration settings are there in the admin backend. After logging into uh, the admin panel, uh, the admin would have to navigate uh, to stores configuration. And uh, after that, under the sales, uh, under the sales tab, and under the sales tab, uh, we will go to the payments, payment methods uh, menu tab there and here uh, we need to go to the other payment uh, methods section as you can see here and uh, here uh, we'll go to the marketplace mango pay payment method as you can see here and the number second place so let's see what uh, different configuration settings are there in this uh, extension so uh, here the admin uh, can enable or disable this uh, payment uh, method uh, by selecting yes or no. If uh, the admin has selected yes, uh, the, then the payment method would be visible at the checkout time. Else, if the admin has selected no, the uh, payment method uh, will not be available for use at the checkout. Uh, the admin can select uh, uh, this uh, as uh, the sandbox mode as yes. If the sandbox mode has been set as yes, uh, then uh, this uh, extension would uh, work in the uh, testing mode. And if the admin has selected it as no, uh, then this uh, payment extension would uh, work uh, in the production mode. So for, uh, for this example, uh, we'll be using the testing mode. So we'll be selecting the sandbox mode as yes for the time being. After that, uh, the admin will set the title for this payment uh, extension and uh, the title that you type in here in this text box would be visible at the time of checkout to the customers then uh, you need to enter your client id and the passphrase so after you have created your account with the mango pay uh, payment uh, solutions uh, you'll be getting your client id and the passphrase uh, uh, that needs to be put here and after that the admin would have to uh, hit this generate mango pay user button and what this would uh, do is this would generate a, a wallet, uh, an escrow wallet for the buyer. So uh, you need to hit that. After you have hit the generate Mango Pay user button, the Mango Pay ID and the wallet ID would be generated. After that, the admin will set the minimum order total and the maximum order total for the uh, Mango Pay payment uh, uh, method. And uh, after that, uh, the admin would have to set the validation time. So, uh, uh, like you can set uh, any number of days, like you can set five days, fifteen days. So, uh, you have to set the number of days after which the admin can release the hold amount. After that, you can set the sort order for this uh, payment method, and you can also set the new order status as uh, processing, uh, whatever you wish. So, for now, we have set it as processing. Uh, so that whenever it, whenever a customer makes payment for this uh, uh, for a uh, product purchase, uh, then the order standards would be set automatically as processing. So uh, that was all uh, about the main uh, configuration settings in the admin uh, backend. So uh, we need to save these configuration. And now let's see how what else we have uh, in, uh, for the configuration under the uh, seller panel. So for that, we need to log into the seller panel. So uh, the seller needs to log into his account. 
and after logging into his account he needs to set his uh, bank account details so that he uh, can uh, transfer the money at a later time to his bank account uh, like after the validation period has ended so within the validation uh, period if a customer uh, goes for uh, for a uh, for a refund then the admin or the seller uh, can uh, make a refund back to the uh, buyer's account uh, buyer's bank account that was used for uh, making the payment else uh, after the validation period has ended uh, then uh, the customer would not be able to uh, ask for a refund and the uh, admin and the sellers uh, involved would be able to make a transfer uh, of the uh, transfer of the order amount uh, into their bank accounts so uh, and that was about the uh, validation period time so let's get in let's see uh, how uh, the uh, how the uh, seller would have to set up his bank account details so under the marketplace uh, block the uh, seller would have to go to the bank details section and here uh, the uh, the seller would have to set his uh, bank details as you can see here so uh, the uh, seller needs to uh, select his uh, bank account number he can select from iban international bank account number or uh, any other bank account uh, types and uh, for now we have selected the international uh, bank account number and uh, we have uh, set the iban number as well then uh, after entering the bic uh, number uh, the uh, seller would have to set his uh, name there the bank account uh, name that he has yeah, and the address the city the region and uh, the postal code uh, and the country for the bank account so after entering all of these information for the seller bank details like the uh, he has selected uh, the IPAN the IBAN number the BIC number the name address city region postal code and the country uh, the seller needs to save these information so uh, after clicking the save uh, all of that information would be saved up now uh, after uh, the seller has saved his uh, bank account details now let's go ahead and let's see how a buyer would uh, make a purchase uh, of uh, products using the mango pay payment uh, gateway and uh, but before that uh, let me tell you the admin also needs to uh, set up his uh, bank account details for that uh, let's go once again back to the admin dashboard panel and let's see how the admin can set his bank account details in the admin backend and uh, after the admin has logged in he would have to uh, navigate to marketplace management and uh, under the mango pay payment the uh, admin would uh, click the manage bank details uh, button and here the uh, admin can set his bank account type he can select uh, his uh, if he has an international bank account number then he can select the iban or uh, uh, the other option that uh, we have here accordingly and respectively he can select his uh, bank account type first then uh, accordingly he can set his uh, uh, rest uh, of the information there and uh, he'll set up his name address city the region the postal code region and his country and he'll save the information then for the uh, bank details so uh, that was all about uh, the main admin configuration after that uh, we saw how the seller has to set up his bank account details and the admin has set up his uh, bank account de details as well so now uh, let's go ahead and let's see how a buyer would uh, make a purchase of the products using uh, the uh, payment extension so for that we uh, will go to the front end now on the front end uh, the uh, buyer would have to just add the product into the cart and uh, after that he can uh, directly go for the checkout so after adding uh, the buyer would hit the go to checkout button and uh, this would uh, take the customer to the section where he needs to select his shipping address so we have already selected a shipping address we'll uh, now uh, select any of the shipping methods that we have so for now we'll be selecting the fixed or the flat rate shipping for this example after that we'll hit the next button now uh, the uh, buyer would be able to see uh, the marketplace mango pay payment method and uh, under the payment method section here uh, the uh, buyer can see his order total 
and here's a shipping method. Now the buyer would select the marketplace mango pay payment method. After that, the uh, buyer would select uh, any of the two options. If he wishes to uh, use the direct debit, then he can use the direct debit method. Else, if he wants, he can use any of the cards like the uh, uh, card blue, Visa, Master, Mastro, Diners, or any of the cards there. So for now, we'll go for uh, the MasterCard or the Visa card and uh, we'll hit the place order button. So uh, let, uh, the system is just taking a bit of uh, time there. After uh, we have clicked the place order button there uh, under the payment, after selecting the payment uh, method, uh, we hit the place order button and we have been uh, redirected to this page. Now here we will enter the card number that we have. We'll set the uh, expiry date for this card number and we'll enter the uh, the CVV or the card security code number. After that, we'll hit the validate button. So uh, we have entered all the uh, details there for the for our Visa card that we had selected. We had selected the credit or debit card for making this uh, payment. So here you can see uh, that uh, the now uh, after uh, the order has been placed, uh, the uh, buyer would be able to uh, check his uh, order details under his uh, My Orders section and uh, he can see uh, that the payment method that he had selected uh, was uh, Marketplace Mango Pay Payment Method and uh, so uh so that was all about the uh merchant to marketplace uh mango pay payment gateway uh add-on and uh, uh we've shown you how the admin can uh, configure the mango pay payment uh, gateway uh from the admin panel after that uh, the admin has set his uh, bank details similarly the seller has seller needs to have his uh, details saved uh, his bank details saved and we showed you how a customer can directly go ahead and use any of the two methods. Uh, one is the uh, direct debit and the other one is the uh, the one using the credit or debit cards. So uh, the buyer made the purchase using his uh, uh, Visa or MasterCard there. So uh, that was all about this uh, video tutorial. Uh, we'll be coming up with uh, one more uh, video tutorial for the same uh, payment method as the Magento to do Mango Pay Payment Gateway. Uh, marketplace head on and we'll be showing you how uh, the admin and the sellers can do a partial or a full refund uh, using the mango uh, pay payment gateway marketplace head on for magento 2 uh, thanks for watching this video hope uh, it helped you out if you have any queries or suggestions regarding this uh, extension you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may also raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com uh, if you want to uh, know more about this extension then uh, i've uh, uh, left uh, uh, i've left some uh, links in the description there for the uh, for the live demo of this uh, extension and the user guide you can uh, check them up and uh, thanks uh, for watching this video have a great day ahead